Sal, what up? Can the Chiefs draft Tevin Jenkins in round one? Well, since they already just went out and signed Joe Tooney to five years, $80 million, I don't know how many more big-time signings they're going to make on the offensive line. In terms of Tevin Jenkins, I do like this guy a lot from Oklahoma State where he's 6'6", 332 pounds, and his career at OK State, 27 games played. He allowed four sacks. The reason why, though, I also like this move a lot, Topeka, Kansas, right? Maybe. Anybody? Um, but he's a player that Kansas City needs to be able to let to grow into his body a little bit more because he, you can see that he has a lot of tools to be great. My only concern is if you throw him out there, he could get beat up a little bit. Now he's going to have an opportunity to learn. I do think he'll be available at pick number 31, but if I'm Kansas City, no Mitchell Schwartz. I mean, no Eric Fisher. you got a lot of other holes on that offensive line, minus left guard right now. Yeah, if you can if you can get an offensive tackle, definitely think that makes a lot of sense. All right, this next one's coming in from, I guess, nobody. Uh, what will KC do at wide receiver? Watkins is still out there. Will they bring him back? I don't anticipate the Chiefs to actually bring back uh, Sammy Watkins, but I also don't know exactly 100% what they are going to do at the wide receiver position. You sure could potentially go out and get somebody, um, like, in the draft. But if I'm Kansas City, if you can't go out and sign anyone, I'll also go out there and say potentially maybe a Kadarius Tony if he's still available. Oh, man. I'm thinking offensive line, though. Offensive line, offensive line. It's definitely the route I'm going to go. Cheers, Cheers, Chase. Everyone type C. So which NFL team has the best jerseys? Growing up as a kid, I did actually like the Broncos orange jerseys. I'll be honest with you. But uh, I, I don't know if they have the best jerseys in the NFL. I know the Chargers absolutely love their jerseys. The, the Raiders have great jerseys as well. The Saints color rush jerseys are phenomenal. I know some people will disagree with me here at Chat Sports. I love the Cowboys star on the shoulder jerseys that they wear on Thanksgiving. I think they're like top notch. Chicago, their orange jerseys, they're pretty fly as well. Miami from John. I got a 49ers from Ethan. Seahawks, they got some pretty sweet jerseys as well. First question is coming in from Lil Frog. What player in the draft this year do you think will be a bust? Ooh, this is tough. So usually Justin Fields, three quarterbacks work out in the first round. There are probably going to be five quarterbacks taken. So I think Justin Fields has the potential to bust. For a quarterback, it's all about where you go. So one of these quarterbacks, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, they're going to go to a horrific destination like what happened to Sam Darnold going to the New York Jets, and that's going to ruin their career. We see that so often with these quarterbacks. So I think Justin Fields is a good candidate. Maybe one of the offensive linemen potentially too. Sometimes they can just get plagued by injuries. Wide but receivers is also Wide receivers too because everybody rate. becomes so obsessed with the 40 time. Mitch goes Justin Fields. That, that, I think that's a solid option. One of the quarterbacks for me, and I think that three work out and two of the five are actually good who get drafted in the first round. All right, y'all, if you're trying to smash that, hopefully you're trying to smash that subscribe button. Get your questions on our live mailbag. So you see that button underneath the video that says subscribe? Click that. We're getting close to, what, 240,000 subs? Maybe not that high, but we're getting close here. We will be the number one most watched and a YouTube channel for NFL free agency. We're also going to be the number one most watched for the NFL draft. If you like an interactive sports YouTube channel, I promise you right now, Chat Sports, we're the channel for you. Shots fired. All right, Mike Go. Daniel, you're next up here. Villanueva to KC. Is that a possibility? Love the super chat. Appreciate it. Mike, if you're a fan of the Chiefs channel, go to youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. I do think Andre uh, Villanueva from Pittsburgh Steelers, who's like six foot ten, he's also an amazing human being, he's done a lot of great things with Pittsburgh. He would actually be a very good fit with Kansas City and the left tackle who just released Eric Fisher. Do you like that fit a lot or no? Love the fit. Yeah, okay. he's going to move on from Pittsburgh. He's not going to re-sign. Pittsburgh doesn't want him back. And for a Kansas City Chiefs team that got dominated on the offensive line, partly because of personnel, partly because of injury in the Super Bowl last year, they need to fortify that unit. Um, they signed Joe Tooney to a huge contract. Villanueva would be a perfect fit for KC. Jimmy Screws. Oh, Jeremy Screws. Excuse me. Hear me out. KC with Clowney would be finger-licking good 
Do you agree? Well, Jeremy Screws, if you're a fan of the Chiefs, go check out our Chiefs channel. It's at YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. It is actually one of the fastest growing, one of the top Chiefs channels out there on YouTube, always keeping you guys up to date on news and rumors. What do you think about Kansas City going out and getting somebody like Jadeveon Clowney? He'd be a monster in that defense under Steve Spagnuolo, who I, I think is one of the best defensive coordinators in the league. What's funny <coughs> is that the Kansas City Chiefs have kind of taken – a New England Patriots model where they have been willing to take on veterans who have had a down year and those players are willing to take less money because they know that they're going to be able to compete for Super Bowl. So Kansas City, led by Brett Veach, who, like Andrew Barry, who we just talked about, one of the best young general managers in the league, for sure. He's been able to target and pinpoint players who are coming off down years. They've been able to go to KC and be really, really productive. I actually think, though, like a move like Jadeveon Clowney would actually make a lot of sense for oh, this team for as sure. well because I understand that Kansas City's probably sitting here like, okay, like obviously we lost in the Super Bowl, but how can you get better? I Obviously, the more and more edge rushing talent you can go out and get is great, and for Clowney, and this might actually be an opportunity for him to take a one-year deal, go out and have an absolute – stellar season on a very talented Chiefs team and then when the salary cap goes back up he might actually be able to cash yeah. in but the only thing is Clowney's never had a 10 plus sack season no never and he wants to get paid like somebody who has had like six or seven of them but if he can take a cheaper deal I do think it could be something that Kansas City would definitely be interested in him and Frank Clark can you imagine that and yeah it's weird that Clowney has never had a 10 sack season because he was playing opposite of J.J. Watt so you'd think right. that more of the attention would shift Houston over to J.J. Watt well. but I do like the prospect Jeremy Screws of Clowney to the Chiefs. That would be fascinating. All right, I want you to name a player that you guys think is going to get traded. I'll give some shout-outs here to the live people as well. So name a player that you all think could honestly go ahead and get traded. I see some OBJs in there. I see a – oh, boy. I see an Orlando Brown thrown in there as well. Somebody said Allen Robinson, maybe a tag and trade. Cool. Name a player that you think will be traded. Question coming in here on NFL Daily. It's from, ah, I can never get it right, Adam Ski 33 Do you think Jefferson and Thielen are a top three wide receiver duo? Well, who's the number three wide receiver? What's the third wide receiver? I only see Jefferson and Thielen here. <laughs> duo. Oh, top. Okay, I, I'm thinking three wide receivers. No, no, no. So Jefferson and Thielen, who, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, DK and Lockett. Yeah, DK and Lockett. Um... I mean, Can you put in Ty How about Tyreek Hill and Kelsey? See, see, does that count? Does that because count? he's a tight end. It's not a wide receiver duo. So, so he is like a tight end, but he's he's basically utilized as a wide receiver, right? But he's not a wide receiver. He's a tight end. True. He's. But like, I think I think posi like positions specifically overrated nowadays. Yes, to a certain degree. Yeah. But he's a tight end. He. But he's a receiving option. But see, I, I, I'm actually going to go either DK Lockett and DK Lockett, <laughs> uh, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, or I'm still going to throw up there Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. They're, they're no yeah. doubt they're dynamic. I think I think Adam Thielen is one of the more underrated wide receivers. Oh, no doubt about Justin that. Justin Jefferson's yeah. great, but I'm still not ready to be able to put him up there. If Julio Jones is healthy, Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones is f absolutely phenomenal. But um, I mean, those those are probably the top duos, at least in my opinion. 